Good morning, Magic. I'm Gavin Verhey from Wizards of the Coast, and you're about to see an episode unlike any I've ever made before. I visited three different countries in the world, played Magic in each of them, met up with local players, and visited local stores. It was a ton of fun. But a little bit less fun right now is the fact that we're all in a pandemic. And so if you watch this video and think, hey, I want to go travel too, I implore you, please take all of the precautions you possibly can and know the risks associated with traveling right now. Please get vaccinated if you aren't already. I myself was triple vaccinated before going on this trip. Wear a mask as often as you can and get tested as you go from country to country to help make sure you're not spreading that virus any further. And even while doing all of this, it's still a risk. You're still taking a risk by traveling. So know that as you go into it. With that said, I had a lot of fun and I'm so happy I went on this trip. And now I want to show it to all of you. Take it away, Pass Gavin. Good morning, Mom. Uh, what day is today? Happy Thanksgiving. It's Turkey Day. And where are we right now? Turkey. <laughs> yeah, that's right. We went for maximum joke potential. We are celebrating Thanksgiving in Turkey, which is endlessly funny to me. Let's see what we got going on. So here we are, this is the Hagia Sophia Mosque in Istanbul, and it's pretty impressive. I'm gonna show you a quick panorama. Pretty unbelievable. Definitely feel it feels like it uh, has a bit of magic itself, I would say. So here I've got a thing of pickle juice. It's highly been highly recommended. Let's give it a try. It's really good. Trust me. So I spent uh, basically all day during the day with my mom today, and uh, we ate way too much Turkish food. Our, our idea was to try out everything we possibly could, and we did, so that's great for Thanksgiving. I'm glad you got to see her, by the way. She's a bit of an elusive creature. Uh, she's like a vampire or something. She doesn't really show up in many photographs, so really glad you got to hang out with my mom a br brief bit there. But now we're, uh, now we're headed out to... Don't get, don't get by car, Gavin. Now we're headed out to a uh, to little, little magic night over at the, the shop. The players have invited me out. And we're gonna, see, uh, we're gonna see what magic is like in Turkey. Let's go find out. All right, here we are. Looks like this is their place, Pegasus. Let's see a bunch of games inside. Let's just see what we got going on. I'm Yusuf. I'm Yusuf Kemal Vefa. All right, Yusuf. Where am I right now? What is this store? Tell me the history of this store. Oh, okay, sure. Uh, you are in Istanbul, Pegasus Toys. It's uh, one of the stores in Istanbul, and we have been doing the store thing since like uh, actually 1999. Uh, this is the second store. Uh, the first one was like close to here, but we changed our place. So. It's been around 22 years with the store. Then I opened the local gaming store and people started playing there and it became a big community. 
and afterwards uh, then other stores also opened and we also opened a few other stores in other cities so from there it just went up and it's incredible I mean like the community is great and uh, it's becoming bigger and bigger every year uh, and so what is the most popular format at the store what are the most popular formats at, at, your at the moment it's commander I guess and uh, also we do love limited a lot so it's uh, draft and commander is very close. All right, here's what we got. We got white black. One of my least favorite archetypes in this format, so not really where I want to be. But we'll see what happens. I have a little bit of life in synergy. If I draw like this card every game, I think I can have a shot. I can also do get to run a car, catch a card advantage with these kind of things. But it's gonna be pretty tough. This looks like a one-two deck on a good day, but uh, you know, we'll grind it out and uh, and see what happens here. All right, first, what is your name? My name is Aisu. It so tell me about your story of finding Pegasus and what your experience has been like here. Uh, it was great, actually. I was not ready to play Magic in paper uh, for a long time. I was playing online uh, for a long time. So I started searching uh, what suits me in Magic. And people here uh, really uh, look for me. Look me and find my colors uh, what do I want to play what style I want to play and they uh, really helped me true and what does it mean to you to be a Turkish magic player you know you're here in Turkey you've got a you know a, a nice core group playing yeah, what does that mean to you it was great because when uh, earlier it was not really common to find a magic player here uh, when I was in university people didn't know what magic was and I was uh, Challenged. I was struggling with uh, explaining what magic was and what I was uh, paying money for. They didn't understand me. But when I joined that club and came here, uh, everybody was like uh, passionate about what I was uh, passionate about, and that was great. So my deck went 1-1, almost 2-0. A very close third game there, and we could play a third match, but everyone wants to head out to dinner, and who am I to say no to dinner? Let's do it. So you uh, know it's been a successful night when you get to the card shop at 6.30, meet a bunch of new friends, sign a bunch of cards, answer a bunch of questions, draft, play games, go out to dinner, and end up coming back you know, around 1.30 1 in the morning. You know, for Thanksgiving, I think about today and um, how Thanksgiving is both about your own family and also the families that you create. And I'm so thankful that I was able to kick it off today with my mom and seeing the city together and eating way too much food together and then end it with my family of magic tonight and go and see people who no matter what city I'm in I've never met basically any of them in my life go in hang out have a great time and uh, end with a, a little group dinner that to me is is so magical I mean pun I guess probably intended subconsciously so that's that's been a bit of the magic scene here in Turkey. Maybe I'll make it out again to play some tomorrow, but probably not. Um, but it's not all we have in store. Next stop, Bulgaria. All right, well, I am in the airport. I'm about to head to Bulgaria. Super exciting. A lot more magic to be played. I'm heading over to a store after landing. Plus, I'm gonna be staying with a pretty awesome player. I can't wait to introduce you to. Let's hit it.
Here we are in Bulgaria, first ever magic event slash game at a store called Level Up Games. Um, pretty cool like board game cafe slash magic store. Uh, the format of choice today is pretty interesting. It's sealed, but three packs of Innistrad Crimson Vow, three packs of Innistrad Midnight Hunt. So a mix of both, which should allow for some fun synergies. I hope we open up some good stuff. Um, also want to give a big shout out to the store for uh, being vaccinated patriots only, so I'm going to feel pretty good about playing in that. And uh, yeah, let's go inside and see what's up uh, with the local players. All right, so here's my deck, and it is, uh, well, four-ish, three colors, really. It's green-black with a splash of, uh, of red. Now, I am splashing for a red-red card, which is pretty uncommon, but I do have Nature's Embrace to help enable it. At the festival helps get me there as well. Um, and I've got uh, this guy, the Hive Heart Shaman, to find me at least one of the red sources if I really need to. So playing a decent number of mountains. Um, three mountains here. Other than that, I'm just uh, have hope hoping to uh, kind of curve out, um, you know, grind out my opponents a little bit, and then, uh, you know, be able to close the game with some board sweepers, and then maybe uh, Cultivator Colossus if I can. We'll see how, uh, see how this deck does. Okay, hello everyone, my name is Filipa, I'm 27 and I'm from Portugal, I'm currently living in Bulgaria and I've been playing Magic since 2013 and it has been an amazing 7 year journey so far. Uh, I started playing just casual Magic like probably most of you, playing drafting at my local game store then got into standard, then started playing some modern, and now I play basically every format. I just love the community, I love playing Magic, and it's been super fun so far. As I said, I, I was playing Magic for a lot of years, but never very competitively, and when I found Magic Fest and GPs, that's when I knew I wanna do this competitively. Like, I wanna play these big events, because um, it's when I feel the best and when I can hang out with all my friends. So when COVID hit, I was super sad because I always had so much fun playing at GPs and playing at my local game store and I decided to start playing some arena and my friends asked me if I could start streaming for them and I started streaming on Twitch and some people liked it, they stick around and I just kept streaming, playing standard, limited, historic and I fell in love with the community and met so many amazing people through streaming these years and it's been amazing. What is the magic scene in Portugal like? What is it like to play there? So I started playing in college and there was a lot of players there because it was a city where a lot of college students go and then I started playing in other cities and one thing in Portugal that I find is that are a lot of magic players, a lot of commander players, so the command scene there is great, but also there's a lot of competitive players, there are a lot of Portuguese pro players, rivals, MPL, so uh, there's a lot of good Portuguese players for such a small country, so actually the magic community in Portugal for the size uh, is very good, very competitive, they love the game, they are passionate about it, we would travel all over Europe to play GPs, so it is a definitely a good scene in Portugal to play magic. If there was someone out there watching who's like, I might want to do what she's doing, I want to like play a lot of events or want to play an arena or get better and I'm trying to build a small community, what would you tell them? What advice would you have for them? So my biggest advice is don't be afraid. Like we are always so self-conscious that we are going to be, oh, it's my event and I'm going to not perform very well. And don't be afraid because magic is so much about having fun. And usually like from my experience, people will be so happy to help. We all love this game. We all love teaching new people how to get into the game and just go for it, don't be afraid, don't be afraid to ask and you will not regret it for sure as I definitely didn't regret it and I'm so grateful for magic. Well, Bulgaria has been a lot of fun, but it's time to go. But there's one more place I'm headed before headed back to the United States. I'm going to Finland. So uh, break out your coats, it's gonna be frosty. Let's do it. So 
a one awesome thing about being here in Finland. Big props to them. Free COVID-19 testing. I've been getting tested all throughout the trip, but I've had to go seek it out and whatever. You show up here at the airport, they just give it to you. That's awesome. I got tested. My nose feels like it normally would. Highly recommend. Good work, Finland. I know this will not surprise anybody, okay? But uh, Finland is cold. In case you were wondering what time the sun sets in Helsinki right now, it's about 3 p.m. All right, so the sun is setting, and that only means one thing. Let's go play some magic, including with one person you may even recognize. Here we go. My name is uh, Zuhar Turbi, they call me Supi. This is Oh My Game, uh, the first premium Wizards Play Network store in the Nordics. Talk to me about the Finnish magic scene. Uh, the magic scene in Finland is really, really, really versatile actually. Uh, probably Modern and Legacy are, are the most, most played formats, uh, in addition to, of course, Commander. Commander is very played. Uh, we used to have it pre-corona, pre pre-pandemic. We had like uh, everyday Commander, but uh, now we're forced to, uh, as you know and can imagine, a bit uh, like uh, gradually put them on certain days and everything. And yeah, C Commander first, that's the most popular one. And then I'd say maybe Modern and then Legacy. So during the pandemic, it seems like the store is doing pretty well. Any strategies you employed or things you did that like really made it work well for you? Well, I'm, I'm really lucky to have this sort of community behind me. So so it's, I'm, I'm very grateful to all our players. They really, really, they, they, they really have helped us. Not, not just Magic players, game, gamers in general in Finland. They've been very loyal and we were really struggling. We still kind of are, but we're in a better place right now. Anything else you want to say to anyone out there or anyone who wants to come by the store? <laughs> if you're ever in Finland, please feel free to pop pop by our our store i mean you're all warmly welcome and uh, i really hope to see you guys thank you very much So, uh, what, how involved are you with the Commander format? What are some of the things you do with the Commander? Uh, I am a member of the Commander Advisory Group, so uh, I'm lucky enough to be one of the people that the Commander Rules Committee listens to. Uh, it's a great group of people, uh, both the RC and the rest of the Commander Advisory Group. I listen basically to what the community has to say and pass that on along with my own opinions uh, and help sort of, you know, nudge the way the format goes. Yeah. So when working on the Commander Advisor Group, what, what is like an average thing that you might do on there? Like how, how does that role kind of work? For the most part, we just sort of keep our ears to the ground locally and online in whatever forums we're a part of. Yeah. What has your experience with Finnish Magic been like? What are the players around here like? Um, the Finnish Magic community is great. Uh, we have a very strong Commander community here at OMG. And I, you know, wouldn't necessarily, you know, I don't think it would be nearly as strong uh, without the leagues and without the organization and, you know, the sort of welcoming environment that the store helps uh, to foster as well. What does being part of the Commander community and the Commander Advisory Group mean to you? To me, it means that I have a way to enjoy magic and to be and to be a part of magic outside of a competitive uh, 
a competitive paradigm. Anything else you wanted to say to everyone out there watching, or any uh, any last words you want to share? Uh, just remember to have fun when you're playing Magic. Like Magic is a game; it's about fun, and if you're not having fun, something's not right. So if the uh, video cutting out yesterday was a little bit abrupt, uh, that's because it got too cold. It was too cold to hold the camera. I couldn't do it anymore. It was minus 10 degrees. I took my uh, camera out of my pocket, tried to take a video. My hands started freezing. Could not do it. You know, I knew this whole trip that Finland would be the, the cold part, but uh, I think I was even then a little unprepared. Should have packed one more jacket, I guess. Well, it has been an incredible journey, and I really hope you enjoyed coming along on it with me. But it's time for me to go back home and start making some more magic cards. So until then, let me know in the comments down below where I should go next. Hopefully, uh, may I also open your neck of the woods someday. In the meantime, though, may you have a lot of fun seeing magic around the world. You got this. And it matches perfectly. There's the red, and there is the silver. Same deal for the other side, of course. There's silver, and there is the blue. Now, you've, you've seen a lot of cool shiny stuff on this deck box, but maybe my favorite part is the back here. You get a panorama of Zender Split and Oquan in all their shiny glory matching the artwork.